In this video, we're going to continue our examination of this part here that holds our locator for here. Next, we're going to examine, I just want to rotate around, can I get two socket head cap screws and two dowels in here as designed to properly fasten and locate it to this plate? To help me determine that, the first thing I'm going to do, again, is I'm going to use the measure tool. Just click in white space to clear my selection. And I need to know this length because I forget. It's an inch and a quarter. And again, I want two bolts and two dowels in here as far apart as possible to locate this. And I've got a bad feeling I can't. So I need to adjust this so that I can accurately get my fasteners in here evenly spaced. And I have to make sure they're not going to run into this drill bushing. So really, I've got a little bit of room here and a little bit of room here. This isn't going to cut it. So I'll stop this and I'm going to have to edit this part and I'm going to have to make it work. So I've gone ahead and altered this part to make sure I haven't done anything to make it interfere. I'm going to come back down here and show this part again. And it's good because I didn't alter any of this. I just added this feature up here and I'll hide this. And then I want to look at this part. So I'm going to control tab back to it. What did I do? Well, I just added some tabs here so I can add the bolt and dowels up here. If it isn't long enough, I'll change this feature dimension here. So it is. I also added these fillets. And why did I add these fillets? Well, this part is going to see a lot of movement through it. So I'm going to go back and control tab back to my jig. Sorry. And this moves in and out through it. So this is going to have a lot of issues with wear. So I need to harden this part or I need to add a drill bushing here that it goes through something that's already hard. If this part is to be heat treated, I can allow it to have this internal corner to be square. Square corners tend to crack during the heat treatment process. So I would use a bull nose end mill as shown here to make this. Remember, when I design a fillet like this, I want to keep the cost down. So I'm going to put a standard size such as the 1 16th fillet I've used because I can buy a pre-ground bowl nose end mill with that fillet. The alternative to hardening the whole part is to open it up for a press fit bushing as shown here. However, if I do that, the wall thickness will be 88 thou. And that's a little thinner than I'd like, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna not put a press fit bushing in here, but harden the whole part. In a later video, we'll discuss material properties and what we want this to be if it's hardened. And in the next video, we'll discuss how to fasten this part to the plate with the drill bushing.